Hello everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to another video of HTML and CSS complete course. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the procedure classes and uh, elements. So before jumping over to the main point, if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon so you get the notification of my new video when I upload them. Alright, so let's get started. The procedure classes are used to define a special state of an element. For example, style an element when the user mouse over it style visited and unvisited links differently and style an element when it get focused so now we have created here a link which is google.com link and let me target this at the target blank page here you can see this is the link and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add some different procedure classes for them to show you how we can add changes to this link so when i refresh the page this is how our link looks like so let me zoom in this so that it will be so as you can see it is like a dark gray color for now and if you want to change that color you can use the procedure class as well to target the a element so first an element that you want to target so target the element then colon and just use the procedure class that i'm going to use is a link for only the link elements so here i'm going to use a different type of color color so this color will be this type color so this uh, class is used for unvisited link so this link is used for unvisited link this procedure class and let's use another procedure class which will be the visited so this procedure class is used for visited visited link and let's add the color for this as well and this one will be so when i save this and let's refresh the page so as you can see the color of the link is changed so the next we have a hover hover is also a procedure class so this one can be used for when the mouse over mouse over link so when we over the mouse to the link so let's add the color for this as well now let's save this and let's refresh so now as you can see when we over the mouse the color is not going to change so when we refresh the page and now when we over the cursor and let's check how it looks see the color the color is going to change to a pink type color and the second the fourth one excuse me is the active link so this link is used for selected link when we select a link how it looks here we can change the color of the selected link so hope you understand and uh, not only for adding some changes to a link we also can add changes to a paragraph so as you can see here i've write a paragraph here uh, excuse me add the div and add a text inside the div and inside the div i have a paragraph simple text here and here you can see this is the div and inside the div we have this simple text i'm going to add some animation into this when i over the cursor to this div element this text will be pop-ups so for this what i'm going to do i'm going to jump over to the css and inside the css i'm going to first target the p element so this one will be display none so i'm going to hide the that uh, p tar p element inside the uh, div so the background color will be yellow and add some padding padding will be 20 pixel so that's it for p element 
So now I'm going to target the div element and to hover. So when I over the cursor and what will happen to the P element? So it will be display block. So it will be pop-ups. Now let's refresh the page. So as you can see, the text is hided. So when I over the mouse, when I over the cursor to the P element, what will happen? As you can see, the text, the paragraph is pop-ups. Here we go. So, so by using the procedure class, you can also target the first child of any element. So here I've add some more text here. And you can see two paragraphs here, first child and second child, and paragraphs inside this element as well. So for this, let me save this and now for this, what we are going to do, we are going to first target the element that we want to target its first child. So it will be P element and colon and then we are going to target add the first child uh, procedure class and here we are going to change the color of the child. Let's save this and now let's refresh the page and you can see on the screen. This is the first child of the that two element and this one is the first child of this div element. There we go. So we can also target the last child of any element. So for this what we are going to do we are going to instead use instead of first child we can use the last child here. And let's save this. Now let's refresh the page. And as you can see, the fourth one is the last child of the div element. So hope you understand. And now let's jump over to the procedure elements. So we also have the procedure elements, like we have the procedure classes. So the procedure element is used to style specified parts of any element. Like we can add the style to the first letter or a line of an element. We can insert content before or after the content of any element. We can use this. It's the same like the procedure class. We can target the element like the, for example, here we have the, let me refresh the page. This is a simple text we have, simple paragraphs. And let's jump over to the HTML. And here we go, here it is. Adding the procedure element is the same like adding the procedure uh, class. We can target first, we need to target the element. Here we can use the first line. First the target the element, then use the double colon, and then use the procedure element here. And here you can add the color for this. Color. And let's add the font size will be 60 pixels. Now let's save this. And as you can see, all text is normal. And when we refresh the page, as you can see, the first line size is increased. Now let me remove the font size and let's save this so that it will be clearly look for you the first line as you can see is that color is changed we can also use the first first letter for this you can use the instead of class we can use letter so that the first letter will be as you can see the first letter of all paragraph is changed to the red color and we can also increase the size of the first letter so let's add the font size and I'm going to add double X and large and let's check this how it looks. Here you can see. So this is the uses of procedure elements. We can do some more stuff with the procedure elements. Like we can target the class and then we add some changes into it. We can use the before and after. Let me show you here. So first let's target the P element and then use the 
after or oh, let's use first the before and then let's and let's use the state of content inside the before content inside the double quotation use this this is before the studio element let's save this and now let's refresh the page and you can see the before will come at the beginning of the paragraph or every other element so you can see this is the before it comes at the beginning of this is the first child of a div and you can see this paragraph starts from this here from this section and this is the before text that i have added this is the before the studio element and this is the first child of the div and we can also use instead of before we can also use after so that adds some changes to your element let's refresh the page as you can see this is the first child of the div and this is the before the studio and here we can use the after after the studio class let's refresh and here you can see and we can also use the selection procedure element let's use this selection and first don't target any paragraph any element just use the double colon and then add the selection element procedure element and add let's add the color color will be red and the background will be background color will be yellow let's save this so what will happen when we refresh the page when we double click on any text on any word it will highlight it for the user so when we double click as you can see it's going to be highlighted and you can see it is highlight here it is you can see so this is the use of selection procedure element so that's it hope you understand if you have any question any suggestion please leave the comment below if you learn something also leave the comment and don't forget to subscribe and stay in touch with us